large city and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Better eat up, Matt. Mm. Won't find food that's even this good when you get to Larned. Yeah, Larned's a poor town, then, Tuck. Ain't none of my business, Mr. Dillon, but why ain't Miss Kitty coming back from Larned on stage same way she went up there? Why do you have to go fetch her? I'll tell you why, Chester. It's the idea of having a U.S. Marshal come up and escort you back to Dodge. The reason, Chester, is that there won't be another stage for a week and Kitty has to get back here before that. Well, That's the reason. And I suppose it'll be a nice ride for the two of you, Tuck. Yeah. Oh, well, Matt, you have to admit it's mighty courtly of you. Squire and Kitty home through the countryside. It's going to be a long, hot ride, and you know it. <laughs> now, Matt, it isn't the weather that counts. It's, it's the company. Uh, well, where are you going, Mr. Dillon? I'm going back to the office. Well, ain't you going to eat your dessert? Looks mighty good. Plum full of sugar. You eat it, Chester. Well, now, I sure do think... Things are too sugary around here for me already. (laughs) Matt? Matt? What? What was the matter? Oh, for heaven's sake... Were you asleep in the saddle? What? No, Kitty. Of course not. I just had my eyes closed for a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I guess I can't blame you. Must have taken you most of the night to get up to Larned. And starting right back this way. Still a couple of hours to ride. No, I've had tougher rides than this one, Kitty. Say, so how did your uh, visit with your friend up there go? Oh, I was glad to see her, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, she's been pretty sick. I'm glad I made the trip. Really am. Yeah, you're not the only one. Huh? What do you mean? Doc and Chester haven't been able to talk of anything else since they found out that I was coming up after you. <laughs> I can believe that. Hey, look out, Kitty. Uh, the rattlesnake. Oh, oh, Hold on, Kitty. Uh, Don't let him uh, get his head. Hang uh, on, uh, will you? I grab the uh, I don't know, man. I'm sorry I couldn't hang on. I'm a very good writer. Well, never mind that. Any bones broken? I don't know. I don't think so. Here, let's see if you can sit up. Yeah, sure. Come on. Sure. Uh, yeah. Oh. I can't sit up. My head. My head. Now, take it easy, Kitty. Here, let me have a look. Yeah. yeah. You bumped it, all right. Must have hit a rock. Matt? Are you there? Yeah, sure, Kitty. I'm right here. I can't see very well. Dark. What? No, no, no. Don't you worry, Kitty. You're going to be all right. You get me home? Yeah, I'll get you home.
open up. Come on, open up. I got a gun on you, mister. Well, put it down. I'm a U.S. Marshal, and I need shelter for this woman. She's injured. You got no right to bust in Now, here. listen to me. This woman is badly hurt. Well, it ain't none of my doing. Now, you look here. Let him bring her in, Raph. Ain't no call. Let him bring her in. Oh, come on in. That's a real pretty woman, Pa. A real pretty woman. Hush, lady. She's hurt. Just set her right down there, Marshal. All right. Big U.S. Marshal moving in on poor folks. Uh, there you are, Kitty. Uh, you got something to cover her with? Something clean? What's the matter with them blankets? I'll get you something, Marshal. Thank you. Uh, you're all right, Kitty. You're going to be fine here till I get back with Doc. You hear that, Paul? You're going to leave that woman right here with us. You shut your mouth. Ma? Yeah, what is it, Kitty? Don't leave me. Please. I'm just going to get Doc, Kitty. Here's the cover, Marshal. I've been keeping it in my trunk. Rightly a tablecloth, but it's clean. Thank you, ma'am. My mother's. Yeah, sure. And things was always clean. There you are. Hello, woman. Don't leave me, ma'am. I'm a kitty. Oh, all right, kitty, all right. Uh, one of you is going to have to go into Dodge and bring Doc Adams back. I ain't specially feeling like no ride, Marshal. Oh? Well, I can see to it that you feel a lot worse. <laughs> you, you let me go. Now, you look here. I'm through asking for your help. You're going to do as I say. That woman needs a doctor, and one of you is going to see that she gets one right now. You understand? You know, I guess maybe Ludie could go. That's better. Ludy? Why? You know the way to town? No way, all right. Paul, let me go in there two, three times. All right, then you go now, and you find Doc Adams, and you bring him back with you. You understand? I don't see why I have to ride all the way to Dodge. I ain't never seen it. A young woman out here before. She'll be here when you get back. Paul, do I have to? You want me to cuff you again? Go along, Ludie. Ride fast, you hear? I'll ride fast. I want to get back. For certain I do. Go on, then. Get out of here. Marshal Dillon. What? What? Oh. What is it, Miss Hudson? Come over here. I'm trying to keep her head cool with these damp claws, Marshal, but she's burning up for fair. Uh, she doesn't look too good. Kitty? Kitty? She can't talk, Marshal. She ain't rightly conscious. Uh, that boy of yours... He should have brought Doc Adams a couple of hours ago. Yes, sir, he should. Well, we can't wait for him any longer. Raph. Hey, Raph. Come on. Wake up. Oh, well, what's that? Come on, get up. Oh. Well, it ain't daylight. That son of yours hasn't shown up. He's been gone over six hours. Well. You never can tell about Rudy. Well, I better be able to tell about you. What do you mean? Get your boots on. You're huh? going into Dodge. Oh, And Marshall. if you don't have Doc back here within four hours, I promise you're going to need him a whole lot worse than Kitty does. But Rudy took the only horse we got. He can ride mine. Go on now. Well, I ought to at least get paid for it if I go. You'll get paid for it plenty if you don't. A man ain't got no right to his own home. He 
He shames me, Marshal, taking on like that. You think he'll come back? No, he'll come back. He ain't brave enough not to. He's plumb afraid of you, Marshal. Yeah. I better get some more water from the well. No, uh, here, I'll get it, ma'am. I got a gun pointed right at your belly, Marshal. Put that thing down, Ludie. Oh, no. Where's Doc Adams? He ain't here. That's where he is. Ludie, stop talking foolish. He ain't me talking foolish. Stand right still, Marshal. I can shoot this thing. Can I, Ma? Yes, Ludie, you can shoot it. But don't you cause no trouble now. He ain't me gonna cause no trouble. Didn't you even go for Doc, Ludie? No, Marshal. I had me a plan. Real good plan. Why, oh, you young pup. Ludie! Right there, Marshal. Next time I'll hit you. I'm a real good shot. What are you trying to do? I come back to get the woman. What? Got it all worked out. You know, if I didn't come back, you'd send Pa out. Now, that ain't so crazy, is it? I had to wait for that, all right. Pa'd never let me do it. Well, I'm not about to let you do it, either. I'm telling you the truth, Marshal. I wouldn't want to kill you. Killing's bad. But if I have to shoot at you again, I'll hit you sure. Ludie! Now, listen, Ludie. You can't take that woman out of here. She's badly hurt. I got that all figured out in my head. I stole me a wagon. And I got it here, a little ways from here. I'll just carry her out to it, and I'll take her away. And when she gets all right, she's going to be my woman. Lodi, please. I got a right to have a woman just like anybody. And she's the first one I ever had a chance to. Lodi, will you listen to me? No. I told you. I'll care for her till she's well. And I see her... Lying there so pretty, I knew she was the one I wanted. I'm going to take her right now. You sit down in that chair, Marshal. Go on. Sit down. Ma, you go get me that rope that's hanging on the wall. Ludie, this will bring you bad trouble. Get the rope, Ma. Now, you tie him up there in that chair. Now, go on now. You give me his gun first. I am real good, Ma. I wouldn't want to hurt you neither, but I would. Marshal? Do what he says, Miss Judson. All right. Just stay there nice and quiet, Marshal. After she finishes, I'm going to bring the wagon out. I ain't looking so foolish now, am I? No, Ludie. You look fine. Marshal, I'll untie you now. Thanks. You'll have to go after him. I will. He'll kill you if he sees you. It's clean out of my reach. Nothing's going to stop him now. I'll make a good try, Miss Johnson. There, you're loose. You take care of Kitty, will you? I'll take care of her. Marshal? Huh? I'll wait. What is it? In the trunk. I saw it yesterday when I got the tablecloth. Here, Marshal. Now, you take it. Huh? You're giving me a gun? 
I can't let you go out there without one. Not the way Ludie is. Here's some bullets. Thanks. Try not to hurt him too much, Marshal. I'll try, ma'am. I'm afraid he's in no mood to handle easy. For you in this world, there ain't no place for your kind. He's my boy. I'll take care of him. There wasn't anything else I could do. I know, Marshal, I know. It's been coming on him. Coming on him for a long time. There weren't no help for him, no help at all. Just beatings and a twisted way of thinking. Yeah. But he's all right now, ain't he, Marshal? I can think he's all right now, can't I? Yes, ma'am, Miss Judson. You can think that. Matt, hey, Matt, stop the wagon, will you? Uh, sure, Doc. Well, well, uh, uh, what's the matter? Something wrong, Doc? No, everything's all right. Kitty's just coming out of it. She wants to see you. Oh, I'll be right there. How is she, Doc? She's going to be all right, Matt. Oh, yeah, no, 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 Kitty, no, no. You mustn't try to sit up yet. Oh, that's crazy, Doc. I'm fine. You'll do what he says, Kitty, if I have to tie you down. Okay. I guess I have caused you enough trouble, Matt. Uh, you gave me a turn when you were lying there unconscious, I will say that. Well, I don't remember a thing after you first carried me into that shack. I guess it was pretty silly. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, consistent like it did, but just stay with me and not leave me to go get Doc. Nothing would have happened to me in that place. I guess I was just spooky about it. Well, I was a little spooky myself, Kitty, before we got through. Well, what do you mean? Oh, nothing. <laughs> now, you rest now. Okay to go on, Doc? Oh, sure. <laughs> oh, everything's Produced and directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The story was specially written for Gunsmoke by Marion Clark, with editorial supervision by John Meston. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. This is George Walsh inviting you to join us again next week for another story on Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke.